Welcome to episode 15 of Al Dog's Family Newsletter. Uh, what's up? It's been a while. I'm sitting here now uh, with Pink Eye, and I've just had a flu shot, so that might impact the quality of the episode. I mean, they weren't high to begin with, but baby news first. Look, nobody talks to expecting parents and tells them to expect in a couple months they'll have to suck the snot out of their baby's nose with a straw. Um, what they also don't tell you is it's kind of satisfying. Uh, like when you when you uh, suck up like a big one and the, the kid's like, ah, oh. you're also kind of like, ah, oh, you know? Um, anyway, he's talking a lot now, like babbling. He's got, he's got a bit of vocabulary. His favorite show now is uh, The Octonauts. Uh, he calls them knock knocks and i'm sitting here now in the middle of december <laughs> and i've just realized it's christmas in two weeks so china's just opened up so congratulations guys i uh, don't know what hong Kong's doing but whatever um but i've realized that because of all these shipping delays now in china i probably can't order knock knock gifts for my kid so i mean his mom's got him about a dozen presents from both of us supposedly but I mean, I, I still feel bad that I didn't get anything. Um, so my main message is China, get yourself together. We need our deliveries. A couple of expired hot takes. They expired because I haven't recorded in a while. So the Rugby Sevens is basically Halloween for alcoholics. So people who go, I mean, they're not talking scrum tactics or strategy or anything like that. They're sculling Heineken's at 7.30 a.m. So just don't go, just drink at your own convenience. These two guys flew in from South Africa for the tournament and found out they couldn't get in because their QR codes weren't valid. I mean, first of all, do some research, guys, but just go outside and drink, I mean, you know. Now, why did I bring that up? Because in relation to China opening up, I'm the most cynical person you'll ever meet. And but so I'm of the mindset that if they want you, they got you. The authorities, that is. How do you catch criminals if they're not scanning QR codes? checkmate you've got the technology just do it don't make us do all these the confusion now is the difference between leave home safe and the vaccine pass what's the difference first of all second of all you've got your phone on you at all times watch you volunteered your face your fingerprint your heart rate they know when you're sleeping they know when you're awake honestly i think the reason why governments aren't just going full 1984 on us is, is pr so uh, chalk one up uh, for the power of PR, I guess. Hey, that was irony, okay? There's gonna be a bit of that throughout the show. See if you can spot it, okay? <laughs> now, that's when I say something I don't really mean for comic effect. And you as an audience, you laugh at the wrong thing because you know what the right thing is. Well, wow, that's I'm very illegal. Write that down. Governments aren't just going full <sighs> Ooh, yeah, write that down, write that down. PR. Oh, he's so, in so uh, much trouble. Up, uh, for the power of Ooh. PR, I guess. <laughs> this is gonna be good for bonus season. So that's it, just a short one. Um, I'll try to throw some funny clips on at the end, but I was trying to write uh, notes for the episode and I couldn't because uh, writer's block, I guess. But that got me to thinking about how more than a decade ago, a bunch of people got together in a room and planned the MCU. Dozens of different franchises all intersecting and all working together. And we're getting to see this big thing unfold. It's almost like poetry. And here I am, can't write three minutes of nonsense. Um, so... Practice doesn't make perfect. Um, maybe I, this is a life lesson or something. But anyway, um, thank you for watching. New episodes when I can. Like and subscribe. And I will see you again soon, hopefully, maybe. Who knows? Uh, okay, bye. <laughs>